Good Sunday morning. So you're listening to me through my new Rode NT USB Mini. Now, I bought it as an upgrade from my older Audio Technica uh, dynamic microphone. The problem with the dynamic microphones is that you kind of consistently need to like keep your mouth next to it. And I, and I, you know me, I'm speaking in a kind of animated way, and I'm backing and forthing and and the levels all over the place. So this mic, a condenser mic, should be slightly better. So I bought it. It wasn't that expensive, I thought. Don't know what to do with this now. So now you should be able to hear me clearly. But the problem with this one is it does pick up a bit more room tone, like my air con. So I was looking just to put an audio filter in while I'm recording these sort of things. And fortunately... I was looking through the ArchNix wiki. The normal way to do this is just to use this, like, uh, what do you call it? Module echo cancel, and that works quite well. But this this microphone from Rode, it doesn't seem to have Linux support properly because I get these weird errors. I described that all in this bug over here. So if anyone knows about Pulse Audio and these sort of problems. There's even a, I even made a video about it if you want to have a look. So that didn't work. But there's another option in this crazy, wild, wicked uh, Artinix wiki, which suggests using package uh, noise suppression for voice. And you're hearing me through that right now. Uh, let me just demonstrate what it sounds like without it. So without it, you can hear the room tone, right? And it's quite noisy. So I hope you agree that the suppression does work. Let me just try to put it back. Unfortunately, I've loaded it a couple of times. So without it, right? So I hope you agree that the suppression does work. Back. I've loaded it a couple of times. Back. And when I'm not speaking, it should be like silent, right? What do you think? So kudos to the um, developer, kudos to the AR package and arch. But yeah, I'll share my script below how I got it working. And hopefully this will enable you to make little screencasts like I do. Make screencasts, upload them. I think they're, they're great for demonstrating things, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like the video. See you in the next one.